got to say, I'm a little bit giddy like a kid at Christmas and also a little bit concerned because what's in that box. And I'm going to open it up and show you what it is. All right, my friends, a little while back, the folks at Best Arc reached out to me via email in regards to a plasma cutter. I got to say, I've never used a plasma cutter in my life. Didn't know what the process is, and that makes me a little bit concerned because it's something new to learn. But hey, new is fun sometimes. Before we even open the box, this is the BTC 500 DP 10th generation plasma cutter from Best Arc. It's a 110, 220 volt powered plasma cutter. So here we go. Uh, it's not extremely heavy, certainly not light either. This right here, I'm going to say is probably 15 to 20 ish pounds, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. That's the, the main unit. I got an air hose, which I don't believe I'll need because it's got a adapter and I've got a pretty heavy duty air compressor to power it with. Uh, 220 volt is the standard, but it also has an adapter to go to a 110 volt. So 110 volt be able to plug into a, a standard type of wall. I happen to have a uh, 220 volt connection in the garage here. I also have the earthing clamp, which you need to have that electrical path to be able to use this to create the plasma and do the cutting. Uh, some accessories, and this would be the cutting head. We're gonna learn more about it, get it assembled, and see what it does. We're gonna go over the knobs and connections. We're gonna start with the cutting head. Obviously you have your cutter portion, and then the connector that connects to the plasma unit. We got just a screw on. And then the blue cable, it's really the old game of blocks as a kid. You fit it in the right spot. Red cable to the red knob. With the head unit connected, we have the earth cable or ground cable, and that just pushes in and turns and locks in place. On the front, as far as knobs, we've got air control, and then knobs to switch displays on the front. Now moving to the back of the unit, we have the on off button, and then where you would plug in your compressed air. And then we'll get that on. And then obviously the power 220 volt. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move outside to do this cut. This is taking a day or so to get this process rolling. I'm really excited about doing this. I'm kind of want to get going, but I want to get some safety equipment, some uh, some gloves, shirt as far as any protection for my arms, and then obviously eye protection. So we're gonna move outside and get this cut. And... Okay, we're all set to try a first cut. Got it set to 30 to 40 for air pressure. Uh, got my protective equipment. We're going to give it a shot. Okay, took a second. I've been getting some spitting and sputtering and I wasn't really sure what it was. I tried to run this through an extension cord to my uh, plug, which is just the other side of the garage door. I couldn't do that. Extension cord probably isn't rated for this device I'm using. It's working now. In the immortal words of Alan Shepard, let's light this candle. Okay, having all kinds of electrical issues. It's not the unit itself, <clears throat> it's my setup in my garage. I've got one side of my garage has outlets that are connected to the house. Unfortunately, if I plug too much into it, it trips the breaker. So this is drawing a little bit too much power. I got a decent cut until it, it tripped that breaker. So ideally there should be enough power. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, that makes a world of difference. In the infamous words of Doug Mikata, that will cut. Okay, folks, that's the, the first cut that I've ever done freehand with a plasma cutter. This unit is pretty impressive. Certainly you need to learn some more as far as speed control uh, and cutting on the lines. That certainly will help, but I like it. What can I say? I like Shamrock. Shamrock Woods 315 is my uh, my business, so that's not a bad thing to be able to cut cool stuff. The unit itself, you know, I'll put it as Amazon links down below. Highly recommend it at this point. I don't really see any faults with it. Again, new to this, so there may be some things I'm not seeing. If you're somebody that has experience out there, certainly make some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I can do better. I'd, I'd like to learn and, and get better at this. So I'm certainly willing to listen to what people say. Other than that, I really have nothing else for you. I want you to know one thing though, your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, get out in your garage and do something epic like use a plasma cutter. <laughs>